Hey, how you guys doing out there today? This is Stephanie Menes from the Roto Beast team, and I'm here to present you our NFL um, Week 2 wide receiver picks for FanDuel and DraftKings. Um, as always, if you want to um, watch our full video, please go subscribe to our YouTube channel, at Roto Beast. Um, and if you want to actually get access to the lineups that we're actually playing, you can visit our website at www.rotobeast.net. All right, so let's get it. Let's get to it. All right, so we'll start off first. Uh, I'm going to go with Jordy Nelson. I mean, obviously, I like Aaron Rodgers a lot this week, so I'm going to like his favorite receiver. Um, you know, Nelson, he was pretty good in week one. I mean, he had a tough matchup. He was getting, um, you know, he was getting shadowed by Richard Sherman a lot, and he still put up a respectable line. Um, seven catches for 79 yards and a touchdown. Um, you know, on eight targets, so he caught seven of his eight targets. Um, yes, Cobb led the team with 13 targets last week, but I think that has some to do with the fact that you know Sherman was on Nelson. Um, I think that the um, targets will even out a little bit more this week. I mean, the game's gonna be a shootout. Um, there's a lot of things to love about Jordy Nelson. You know, Rogers is gonna throw a lot. Um, this is a above average match uh, matchup. Um, and you know, Nelson's just you know, for the last couple of years, been one of the most consistent receivers week in and week out. Um, get you a pretty consistent, um, you know, get you a pretty consistent uh, number of fantasy points. So I do like Nelson. Um, next, we'll move on to this guy. This guy, I don't know how I feel about him. I mean, I'm not as high on him as a lot of people are, but at the same time, I understand why they are high on him. Um, we're going to go with Julio Jones. The guy, he had a subpar week last week. I'm going against a weak Bears defense. Um, you know, his price is still, you know, relatively low for his price, 8,800. Um, last week, him and Brown got into the 9,000s a lot. Um, and I think this is a very good matchup against the um, Green Bay defense. Um, you know, Julio, they say, this is a stat that I keep reading over and over. Julio always bounced back bounces back after a bad game that's what everybody keeps saying you know they're throwing these numbers up and all this stuff even the numbers didn't look great but they were respectable you know so we you know we got to expect if he can get us 16 to 18 um fantasy points this week that'll be value um of course in this you know high um caliber shootout game both offenses are probably going to put up 30 plus points um he could definitely you know go for 30 fantasy points a couple touchdowns um that's not out of Julio's realm you know the thing is is just we don't see it consistently and that's the problem with Julio Jones is sometimes he does good sometimes he does bad sometimes he does mediocre you know he you can never really you know pinpoint exactly what he's going to do that week it's not really too matchup dependent compared to Jordy Nelson who we just talked about um the guy pretty much just gets you around the same fantasy points every week and is very consistent um but you know, I think Julio does have a little bit more upside than Jordy Nelson, um, but I think they're very close, and I think those are the two higher-end options that I really like this week. Um, another guy that's looking pretty good is you got Michael Thomas for the Saints. Um, I definitely expect um, Drew Brees and company to bounce back this week. Um, you know, the guy, you know, he pretty much stayed the same price as he, as he was last week. He didn't move up, whereas, you know, almost everybody else moved up a little bit um, price-wise. Um, he's the Saints' clear number one. He led the team in targets last week with eight targets. Um, there's still no uh, Willie Sneed. He's suspended still. So I think Breeze is going to force the ball to Thomas somewhat. And Patriots, their defense looked very suspect last week. Um, you know, you've seen Alex Smith and Hill. They absolutely torched the Patriots. And we're talking about Alex Smith and we're talking about Tyreek kill who's a small receiver so i can only imagine what breeze who's way better than alex smith and you got michael thomas which he may not have the explosiveness as tyreek hill when he gets in the open field etc but he is a better receiver and a better catcher overall um so i do like thomas to bounce back this week him and breeze i think they have a pretty good game um you know and this this uh, game has the highest you know total on the board so both teams are expected to score a lot um, so I do like Michael Thomas this week as well. Um, so next we'll move on to this guy. This guy I'm not too high on compared to other people, but I'm going to mention him, okay? Because, I mean, the volume was there. You know, you got Amari Cooper. Um, the Bill, I mean, the Bills, they destroyed the Jets last week offensively. So I can only imagine what the Oakland Raiders are going to do to them this week. You know, Amari Cooper had 13 targets last week. Um, he dropped three touchdown passes he could have had three touchdowns easy last week he dropped three touchdown passes even though he dropped them you know that's a sign for us that we know 
that Carr is looking for him a lot in the end zone. And in fantasy, you know, the gold mine is getting touchdowns, so you can never take that away from him. Um, he still had a respectable line, five catches for 62 yards and a touchdown, um, but he could have had a much bigger game. Um, it's kind of tricky because him and Crabtree, you know, they were pretty even last year. Um, you know, but, you know, week one, we seen it was a Cooper show. And if that's going to continue and he's going to continue to get the bulk of the targets, you got to like Amari Cooper this week. Um, the problem with Amari Cooper um, is the same reason that I actually like Marshawn Lynch in our running back video is the fact that I think that the Raiders are going to get up on them early, you know, beat, beating them by 21, 14 points at least. And they're just going to want to run the ball with Marshawn Lynch just to run the timeout and get the game over with. I don't see them throwing the ball if they're up 21 points. And, you know, that that's the scary thing about Cooper is I could see the Raiders offense kind of just taking a, you know, a backseat once they get up. And, you know, they're not going to air it out no more. And so, you know, that could hurt Cooper a lot. Um, but he still is in play. I mean, the guy, like I said, he was a vulture this week. He, he what, a touchdown, dropped three in the end zone. I mean, the guy... He has really good upside, and I do like, um, you know, Cooper a little bit. Like I said, just be cautious with him. Um, the next guy I like, um, I think this guy is pretty much a cash game lock, just like I said it last week. Um, you got Larry Fitzgerald. Uh, he's 6.6K, and he's just too cheap. I mean, he's the number one receiver. Um, he had a pretty good game last week. Um, he could have had an even better game. Um, he dropped a touchdown in the end zone. Um, but, you know, we've seen the targets there. He led the team with targets. Um, now that David Johnson is out, I think that, uh, you know, they're going to rely on throwing the ball a little bit more. Um, and I really like Fitzgerald again this week. Um, you know, I think that the um, Cardinals are going to go off and they're really going to bounce back. And I think Fitzgerald is going to be a big part of it. So, um, you know, I really like him a lot. And another guy I like, um, I mean, I had him in my lineup last week on my Thursday lineup. And a lot of people didn't have this guy. And he brought me to the money. He made me some money. So we're going to go with Thielen for the Minnesota Vikings. Um, the guy would just, it looked like he had really good chemistry with um, Bradford last week. And, uh, you know, I like Thielen. His price didn't even move. He's still 5800 and the guy went off. Um, so I think, you know, he's a really good cash game play, um, you know, and, and I would definitely look to get some exposure to him. Um, this way you can pay up a little bit at other places. Um, and then one more set of people that I do like, Allen Robinson went down this week. Um, so, you know, pretty much you got Hearns and you got Lee um, both stepping in on each side. Um, as the number one and the number two receivers um, for Blake Bortles. Um, I think both of them, their targets are going to definitely increase. Um, you know, and, and I, I do like these guys for cheap. I'm, I'm honestly going to lead, um, lean a little bit more towards her, uh, Hearns just because, um, you know, in the past when something like this has happened where Robinson was hurt and Hearns stepped in, we've seen this guy have monster games before. So I think he has more upside, in my opinion, than Lee. Uh, but both guys are, are firmly in play. Um, like I said, I'm just leaning a little bit more towards Hearns. And also, Blake Bortles, he sucks, okay? We all know that, but at the same time, um, you know, he's the king of garbage time TDs. King of garbage time. He gets a lot of TDs in garbage time. Um, I think they're going to be trailing the Titans this week, and I think they're going to have to throw. And um, I could definitely see both of these guys doing good. So um, that's kind of where I'm at for wide receiver. Um, you know, I like Nelson. I like Julio, Michael Thomas. Um, you know, you got Mark Cooper, Fitzgerald, Thielen. And then the Hearns and Lee combo. That one's a little bit tricky, but like I said, I'm leaning more towards Hearns. So, hey, thank you for watching my video. Um, please leave comments below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Um, I want to improve these videos for you guys. Um, you know, share them. Help us out. We want to, you know, grow our page a little bit. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with our tight end video. And, hey, let's win some money this week, all right? Take care.